And today we are reading for day number 325. Let's pray first. Lord, as we journey through this day, let us include you in all of our plans, and I pray that you be the foremost thought in our minds. And let our actions bring pleasure to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so if you have your Bible, let's open up to Luke chapter 11. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive every one that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, Though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asks receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of, of you, of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? For if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? And he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. And it came to pass, when the devil was gone out, the dumb spake. And the people wondered. But some of them said, He casted out devils through Bezebel, the chief of the devils, and the others tempting him, sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Bezebub. And if by Bezebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armeth, keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him, and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted, and divided, divided his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that is gathered not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He said, I will return into my house whence I came out, and when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. He, he, then goeth he, and taketh him to seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. And they enter in, and dwell there. And the last state of man is worse than the first. And it came to pass, when, as he spake these things, a certain woman of, a, of the company lifted up her voice, and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was assigned unto the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be unto this generation. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation, and condemn them. For she came it from the utmost part of the earth, to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment of this generation, and shall condemn it. 
For they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, put it on, but on a candlestick. But they which come in may see a light. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body is also full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body therefore is full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. And as he spake, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with him, and he went in and sat down to meet. And when the Pharisee saw it, he marvelled that he had not washed before dinner. And the Lord said unto him. Now do ye Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup of and the platter, but your inward parts is full of ravening and wickedness. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without make that which is within also? But rather give alms of such things as ye have, and behold, all things are clean clean unto you. But woe unto you, Pharisees! For ye tithe mint and rue and all manners of herbs and pass over judgment and the love of God, these ought ye have, ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Woe unto you, Pharisees! For ye love the uppermost part, uppermost seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are as graves which appear not. That the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Then answered one of the lawyers and said unto him, Master, thus saying thou reproaches us also. And he said, Woe unto you, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be borne, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens of one of your fingers. Woe unto you, for ye build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness, and ye allow the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and ye build their sepulchres. Therefore, also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall lay and persecute, and the blood of all prophets which was shed from the fountain of the world, from the foundation of the world, may. Be required of this generation, from the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple. Verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe、well、unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the know the key of knowledge. Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering, and ye hindered. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vainly. And to provoke him to speak of many things, laying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth, that they might accuse him. In the meantime, when they were gathered together in in an innumerable multitude of people, insomuch that they trod on one another, they, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the house tops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that they have no more of that they can do. But I will forewarn you, whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he hath killed hath no power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is begotten before God? But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men. Him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God, but he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be given forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. 
And when they bring you unto the synagogues and unto the magistrates and powers, check ye no thought of how or what things ye shall answer or what ye shall say. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in, in the same hour which ye shall ought to say. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, A ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no more room to bestow my fruits? And he said, This I will do, I will pull down my barns, and build greater, and there I will bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say unto my soul, So thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be, which thou hast provided? So he that laid up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow or reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add his stature one cubit? If ye then not be able to do the things which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies how they grow, they toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you, that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is to cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind, for all these things do the nations of the world speak at, seek after. And your Father knoweth what ye have need of these things, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what ye have, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, and treasure in the heavens that felleth not where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there your, will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord. And he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open up to him immediately. Blessed are those servants, whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself, and make them sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And he that shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them blessed, oh, find them so. Blessed are those servants. And this know, that if a good man of the house had known that the hour of the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready, ready also. The Son of Man cometh the hour when ye think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household? to give them portion of meat in due season. Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him rule over all that he hath. But, but and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the, the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to also be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in the day when he is not looking not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in sun, asunder, and will appoint him his portions with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, 
none that did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes, for unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required, and to whom men are committed much, of him they will ask the more. I come to send the fire on the earth, and what will I if it be ready kindled? But I have a baptism of the baptized with, and to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I have come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather the vision. From, for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, and the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, and the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he said also to the people, When ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straight ye say, straightway ye say, There cometh a shower, and so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, There will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not, ye do not discern this time? Yea, and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right? When thou goest with thine adversary to the magistrate, thou art in the way, give diligence that thou may deliver from him. Lest he hail thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison, I tell thee, thou shalt not depart thence, till thou hast paid every last mite. Well, thank you so much for reading along with me, and I will see you again tomorrow. God bless.